Hello there, in this crazy video we're going to overview what is the latest news from AI. Yeah, and we'll begin of course with the Google Gemini Advanced. The new version 1.5 was released and supposed to be better than ChatGPT. Well, I will let you try for yourself and see if you agree with them or not. It is come with $19, $20 a month, same like ChatGPT. However, right now, they're on special, so they give you two months free to try. Don't forget, cancel after two months, or you will start paying $20 a month. But for now, you can launch and you can try it. I did put it in quite a bit test between different them, and that will be in our another video. So the next is interesting things. The chairman and CEO of JP Morgan, in his release to the shareholders letter, tell that he worried about AI that will be affecting quite a bit market and it is already does affecting market quite a bit. For example, all big companies and if we're going on this, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, they start looking Apple and they start looking about competitions, how they're taking market, build better models and everything and they start putting model, uh, money to purchase some assets uh, photo stocks like private photo bucket and other ones that literally put millions and billions in this to get to this data and train down model on this. So the competition's out of there for the companies who grab the, the best piece of the pie for them so they have it more data. And it sometimes come to the elements maybe we don't want it. Like for example, OpenAI uh, spend over one million hours the training on 1 million hours of video from no either as YouTube. So they actually was using YouTube videos to train their own model, probably to do for the Sora for new things coming, which is actually make very interesting questions who give them permission. It's meaning YouTube can easily take any videos you posted there and deliver them and monetize them as trained data without paying to any of the contributors or creators in this case. So that is another very interesting question. And I have a feeling that somewhere brewing another lawsuits about data privacy on YouTube and other things that may happen. And that is creating some questions, for example, the two uh, largest Japanese companies says the social order called a collapse in AI area. And this is understandable because we stepping in many things that majority people or fear because they don't understand or don't want to learn. And it's how it says the knowledge, it is not dangerous, ignorance are. And it's meaning for us a very good time to learn this new technology, to understand how it's work, so we can control technology and don't let technology control us in this case. And speak about new technology and other things. We get uh, Oracle announced the AI Power Cloud service that helped banks to migrate anti-money laundering. So it's it is kind of start monitoring around, and it's always happen on both sides. And one you can notice the amount of the. Um, AI chatbots all over, which is kind of analyzing, creating special programs to take money from you to cheating or do other things, you know, other services. And we always have it oppositions. Other AI try to combat with this. So it's become a very interesting time to see what's happening there. And by the way, all of this information that I provide you available in these articles and links to them, they will be down below in description. So if you want it, you can go and read very carefully through all and make your own opinion without being influenced by person who tell you out of screen. Again, this is my kind of highlight for the news what's happening and hopefully encourage you to go and look more for yourselves. Okay, next interesting things, the Microsoft announced the Microsoft AI Hub in London, so it's another new location, and speak about new stuff. Spotify now launched beta AI playlist. Playlist that's supposed to analyze how you, what you're playing, what you're creating, and everything. It seems like right now it is people try to add word AI to almost anything is possible. If you ever watch the movie, The Ant-Man, and then one, this is quantum, quantum to the point where he was start making fun. And he says, hey, it seems like you guys just put it quantum word to everything. So and as a result, same things with AI. Seems like AI is our quantum word of the year and 
everything should have an AI up front of this. Well, and now let's speak about some more interesting things, some more practical what has come out there. And those ones could be very fun for you to maybe go and look and research. And one of the services, of course, that you can very easy if you have the blurry photos, you can go ahead, download it and fix those blurry with uh, this specific fix blur surface. It's work OK nicely. Personally, I do like better um, the vid. Uh, The Topaz uh, photo AI. <laughs> wow, I'm start forgetting anyway. But yes, personally, I do like more uh, Topaz AI. It's work very good and best parts. You pay one your own applications and you can adjust. But if you want a little bit more zinc in your uh, photos, create a little bit more with the embedded AI, then Magnific. It is really jaw dropping software i was posting and putting this in tests and link down below you can look on my previous video where i took it and compare gigapixel other ones and magnific ai how it works side by side on uh, upscaling and sharpening and without questions magnific big every one to the punch so this is great applications be sure to check this video other ones where we compare everything and how to use this Keep in mind, Magnific is not cheap. It is quite a bit pricey software. Uh, but again, this is like $99 even per month and they have it $40, $99, so it's expensive. But it is not aimed for the average user. This is aimed specifically for the professionals who are creating maybe a poster photography or other things they needed special high resolution image upscale. So this is a highly professional tool to use. Okay. Next, after Spotify, we have it blur and another one surface kind of interesting drive AI. And this is coming from other channels. The point on this personally, I try to log in. You can try it. It's supposed to take a lot of code and analyze. I never actually made it work. So this is question to you. Have you ever tried this? Have you tried to take the programming code, like maybe website and analyze, see how it's work? Drive AI is supposed to do this. I cannot make it. You can try to do this and let me know. Maybe you have it some different service that you have used it. So let me know. I'm looking for specific service where I can take a code, develop maybe Ruby, PHP, Perl, any of those languages, website. I can upload it with multiple files in one place and let AI analyze for me this code. Let me know if you have it some of this solution. That will be interesting to find out. Another interesting um, AI, and in this case, music generations. I use it for some time. It's called Sound Draw. They have a free trial, so you can go and create it. That is created copyright music. It's perfect if you're doing like YouTube videos because you can specify what theme, what beat, what you can just customize specifically for your video, include the link of this. And after you can even tweak small elements. I use this in my videos. It's very good software. It is pay. But I think it's about about fifteen dollars, so it's not that much per month. But they have a free trial, so you can go ahead and see it if it's work for you or not. And of course, Mid Journey have it new updates. If you miss them, it's installations and photo. I have it another video about Mid Journey, how to, you can create perfect portraits. And now with even increasing increasing stylization, so you have it very very close to the idea what is was in your mind and I say idea because different between when AI create you see the idea that you created and AI actually you see what vision of the AI it's not necessarily your vision your vision it's when you actually going like 3d applications and other things and speak about 3d applications does 3d which is interesting they are was providing special environment and they sell the models if you look on the the shop, it's what it is, it's a 3D models. And about a year ago, it says no AI, we're forbidden every AI. I mean, they banned it from the website. And recently, like three, four days ago, they come up with this Does AI Studio. So now they're actually on their own side, they promote NSL AI. They have a different little bit approach, and I think it's very clever. But again, watch my review of the Does AI on the channel and try for yourself it's free to try so you can 
make your own judgments and not based just on my words here okay of course we have at mid journey be sure to go check my other videos about mid journey what is updated so what's new and how to use it so you can create your own funny minions fighting with a dinosaurs and we already all know this is not new but i want just update it on a sora what's going on and you'll notice the sora it is the open AI created video. It's supposed to be very stunning and interesting video how it can create it. Recently they released music video and shorts they created which is supposed to be a shocking for the Hollywood but again my point to this this is the vision of the AI it's not necessarily creator vision and as our creators on any images we just accepting vision what was delivered to us without our specific vision in our head so it is fun it is good but we'll see how long it will last and on a final notice just about tech market i don't know if it's related to you or not but it is interesting to find out that uh joe Biden, well administration the u.s government signed up a big contract with the tsmc uh, corporation from the taiwan on the chip maker to build the factories in arizona and this is actually a very big deal for the market and everything to bring more inside the US, a little bit independent from world economy. It's probably have a lot of political reasons beside this, but it is very interesting in this. Just a side note. Okay, I think this is all what I want to bring right now. Um, let me know if you have any questions, if you have any additional news. So remember, tell me about this programming. If you have any program, you know that I'm actually really looking for this. I'm looking for the program. And I tried JetGPT, I tried other ones. They're working, but they're working on single file. And it's something that take all website analyzing and perform. Again, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.